What's up everybody? I'm going to show you a couple quick tips on changing an alternator on a 2007 Honda Odyssey. Uh, I'm not going to show you actually how to do it because there's no way to get the camera in there um, to show how to get it out. But this is what I believe one of the quickest ways, definitely not the easiest, but one of the quickest ways to get the alternator out. Um, the manual says to take the front bumper off, take the condenser off, take the radiator off. And if you do all that, the alternator slides right out the front really easy. But that's a lot of work. Then you got to get your AC system recharged. You got to make a mess on the ground with all your radiator fluid. Um, so what we're going to do, <coughs> show you right here. All right, you're going to take your power steering fluid overflow off by taking this hose off of the power steering pump and taking the hose off of the reservoir. Undo it. Then there's a bracket right here you're going to take off because those bolts are going to get in the way. I've also seen some videos where people tell you you have to take out your windshield wiper fluid canister. You don't have to take it out, just loosen the bolt so you can move it to the side. Um, once you get your belt off and undo the two bolts holding the alternator on, unplug the plug on the back and take off the uh, cable that goes from the alternator to your fuse box, your alternator is going to be free to move around. So your alternator is sitting in your vehicle like this. You've got a bolt on the bottom, a bolt right up here. Here's your two cables. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull the alternator out of the little bracket that it's sitting in and there's not a whole lot of room you really got to be patient so you don't break stuff because you're going to be right up against your radiator fan but you want to rotate the alternator to where the pulley is facing down and you want to rotate it counterclockwise so that the plug are facing the driver's side of the vehicle once you do that you can you've got your low pressure ac line coming off of or going back to your ac compressor you're going to move that a little bit out of the way. Don't put too much pressure on it because you don't want to crack a line. And then you're going to slide the alternator up past the <clears throat> AC line. And then it is going to be sitting in this area right here. Once it's in there, you can move your windshield wiper fluid spout out of the way and pull the alternator out through this spot right here. Also, a couple pro tips, or let's not call them pro tips, let's just call them tips from somebody who made some mistakes. So a couple of things I learned doing this is, one, when you go to the auto parts store to buy a new alternator, always, always, always have them test it. This is a real pain to swap out, and the brand new alternator I got from the parts store, uh, the alternator was bad, and it happens. I mean, no, no, not blaming them. Um, but have it tested, spend the extra five minutes, have them throw it on their tester. Cause I got it in, started the van up, still no charging. Long story short, went and got another alternator, had them throw it on the bench, had them test it. Um, the, the first one I bought was bad. I took it back after I got it out and it, it failed the test three times in a row. Um, so yeah, have your alternator tested. Uh, hopefully this helps you. If you've got a van like this, the alternator is a real pain to get in and out. I've done it three times now. Um, and even the last time was still tricky, but it was a lot easier than pulling the front bumper off, pulling the radiator, pulling the condenser. I mean, pulling the headlights off. Um, that's a multi-hour job. I was able to knock this in and out in about 45 minutes. Your alternator has this compression ring here. Make sure before you put it in to grab a channel lock and squeeze it to make sure that this is slid all the way that way, or else it is not going to slide back down in the groove where it bolts to the motor mount. Um, so you'll have to pull it back out again and do that. So another thing I learned, if you got a 2007 Honda Odyssey and your alternator goes bad, that's probably the quickest way to do it without tearing everything apart. So hopefully this helped. Have a great day.